Hello everyone and uh, welcome to NartistOnce.com So today we are in my new showroom, uh, in, uh, in, in my new warmery. I finally handed to set up this showroom that will be also a retail uh, store, you know, people can come and uh, buy my, my product. So, but the topics of today's video is actually a topic that um, is, um, is needed because a lot of people they uh, really really ask me about uh, my bedding my reproduction being uh, bedding so if you saw the the all my videos i did a bunch of videos uh, about the uh, reproduction bean so you see that my reproduction bean they thrive and my worms are very very happy and uh, and fat so today i am uh, introducing you the perfect bedding for your worms Okay guys, so this is my little showroom here. This is uh, the room uh, where uh, I will dedicate uh, uh, to make some video, you know, and uh, um, and also this is my warm casting uh, new room. This is uh, the, I already show you the box uh, that I use for the retail sale. You have the QR code to go directly to the casting lab result. Of course, logo and the indication of what is it inside uh, a little uh, instruction, but inside actually there are a pamphlet with all the instruction and information regarding uh, the warm chow and um, and the sticker. You know, everybody loves sticker, but today the um, we are talking actually about um, this uh, beautiful amazing bedding that i use for my warm casting so i am proposing you this new product that is a kit for uh, your uh, uh, warm bedding uh, you can use it for the reproduction of bean this is perfect but also you can use it for your um, regular bean if you want so the product is actually Three, the kit is coming with the three different products. Uh, one is uh, my organic bedding uh, special mix. I will talk about uh, each of these products. One, of course, is my warm chow. And uh, one is this amazing organic compost. Uh, this compost is uh, is uh, is produced by a small composting facility here upstate New York. This guy is amazing. They do amazing job uh, taking care of their, their own compost um, and making a beautiful amazing rich product that they, your worms will love actually you can use this compost uh, not only for the worms you can use this compost for uh, your gardening uh, for doing you know warm tea uh, uh, compost tea and um, you know all the the application that you can do with uh, your compost but without a further ado let's uh, see those product uh, in details so what is included uh, in, uh, um, in this kit so there are again three products one is uh, my special organic bedding special mix uh, this mix is a blend of uh, organic cocoa coil organic pit moss uh, cardboard uh, very little cardboard actually to give just you know some uh, uh, more volume and uh, help to retain mo moisture and also there are a little biochar and uh, a blend of uh, of a different organic uh, nutrient uh, and uh, it come out with uh, this uh, six uh, gallon bag the second uh, uh, product that you will be in the kit again is uh, this uh, amazing organic compost it come out in a three gallon bed and again is produced by a local uh, composting facility and uh, it's 100% uh, organic and it's beautiful and have uh, all what your wants need also of course my amazing warm chow formula and uh, come out with the 25 ounce bag so if you use for reproduction bean this bedding is uh, more than enough it's nine gallon in total between the, you know the mix and the, the the, the compost uh, it will be enough for a tree cycle the cycle can be three weeks usually it's three weeks you can push a little bit to, to four weeks a month so you have uh, um, with this kit uh, n uh, three months more or less uh, of uh, reproduction bean uh, and uh, it's a uh, perfect ready to use uh, and uh, uh, and uh, really what your worms need it's what i use uh, here in my warmery to have this beautiful amazing and fat worms 
and um, the one mature is 25 ounces and this can last uh, for one reproduction being of course uh, maybe four or five months. Uh, you have to add uh, that's the half cup uh, in the bedding but we, now we will do the procedure together and uh, like twice a week, uh, three times a week depends how many worms uh, you have in your reproduction bin. Just sprinkle a little bit in the top, uh, mix uh, with the top layer of the, the soil and, uh, and the mist uh, a little bit. But uh, uh, let's go and put it together all these ingredients so I show you exactly how you um, you do the mix for your ones. Okay, here we are and uh, we do our uh, uh, our mix uh, uh, together so I show you if you saw my previous uh, uh, videos on the reproduction bin you see that I used uh, three gallons uh, of uh, bedding for two pounds of worms but after you know it's a little time now <laughs> I'm doing this and a lot of research and experimentation I figure out actually that the perfect uh, amount of worms for this mortar tray and the three gallons of bean for me it's one pound of worms so two pounds of work amazing of course they are very happy and they reproduce uh, very very well uh, with the right condition of course bedding temperature moisture you know and everything but uh, for me one pound of worms i figure out that uh, i think i'm not sure of, of course 100 percent but for the result i had uh, for me they reproduce more so they are less crowded and uh, and uh, and one pound is what I use actually now on my reproduction bin. So, what uh, uh, how we do this mix? Uh, so, uh, for three pounds, we will use uh, this bag uh, of uh, the organic bending special mix. The 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 the, the bag it's sealed and uh, come again with the six gallons. So we will put two gallons of this bedding and one gallons of uh, organic. Uh, compost uh, this one so because I like to do the things uh, uh, scientific <laughs> uh, I will actually measure uh, the gallons uh, of bedding I will put here okay dollar store scissors look like <laughs> they work very well all right now time. okay so I have uh, actually a gallon container here, so I like to, to measure. So we will put two gallons of this. Bottle. Of course, no need to be precise at 100%. So that's one gallon. And two gallons. Alright, I want to show you guys how beautiful and fluffy is uh, this bedding. So let me see if I can show you better. Go closer to the camera. So, let's show you. so this bedding is very, very nice uh, and fluffy. And your worms will love, but because of the texture of the coca coil, <clears throat> and the texture of uh, the cardboard, the worms have uh, plenty of spaces, you know, to scratch themselves and to roaming uh, free <laughs> all uh, around, uh, all around the bin. Uh, the, I promise you guys, the, your worms will love this. And also because it comes with uh, the compost, the organic compost, uh, they already have uh, the bacteria charge to start uh, jump start this bedding and the, 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 the worms they will have immediately available food with the compost while uh, the, 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 the coco coir it's a little slowly to decompose and have a little less nutrient value of the pit moss so they have the compost immediately to feed themselves on this beautiful bedding it's all carbon of course and uh, um, the the pit moss it will uh, decompose you know it will break down a little faster than the coco coir and have a little more nutritional value but uh, um, with the worm child that will add and the compost uh, this bedding it's all amazing food for the worms uh, so and uh, again it's all carbon and the ones uh, we love and stay here so um, we don't have any problem to um, that this bedding you know after you do will uh, warm up um, I always uh, suggest to prepare the bedding two three four days earlier 
before to introduce the worms so to be sure you know 100 percent uh, i already made a lot of experiments that these do not uh, warm up so it's uh, absolutely safe to use immediately but it's uh, the first time you use that and you want to you know better safe than sorry just uh, uh, prepare a tree for this before prepare a tree for this before it's not only uh, to be sure that uh, this bed eagle do not warm up but also to give like a little time three four days uh, to those bacteria to be activated with the moisture and start to do their job you know and start to do the attack the, to attack the fibers uh, of the cococoid and the pit moss uh, and uh, to start uh, to decompose the organic matter inside the, uh, the, the the compost and also the organic matter of the other blend of food that I put here. It's more than food, it's like uh, organic matter. I will not disclose uh, my secret formula, uh, but I can assure you there are a lot of stuff. And of course the biochar that is already included in this mix uh, will uh, give to all the fungi and the bacteria a good uh, uh, home to be to reproduce you know and say if you know what biochar is uh, you know already that it's a uh, it's a very very important and also the biochar will end up on your finished casting so we we'll give your casting uh, a better better actually quality and high quality so let's add uh, this gallon of compost give a very very truly good mix of everything okay you see it's uh, still nice and fluffy the compost naturally have a little moisture so it will uh, actually um, mix very very well and attach to all the fibers of the cocoa coir and the pit moss and the cardboard too so the bacteria again they will um, after they are uh, activated with the moisture with the water they will uh, um, start to break down all this material so what i like to add also in the mix it's off top of the warm my special formula warm okay i guess i have to change uh, scissors the dollar store scissors <laughs> not the best one okay because i like to do the things scientific you know i am a little nerd in my stuff uh, i like actually to measure so this is half cup of warm each up just pull inside and mix uh, very well so everything so you know in the three minutes uh, you really have the best bedding for your worms and this is already um, uh, available on my website. I will uh, link in the description the, 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 the link up where you can actually buy right now this, uh, this bedding. So now, of course, we have to add the moisture. So the, the rule of thumb, you already know, is that uh, the uh, bedding have to be moist but not damp, have to have a consistency of a sponge, and when you a squeeze we want only a few drops uh, that come out uh, uh, from the bedding so let me take the water and uh, let's start uh, slowly to um, to uh, to put moisture in the water inside this bedding we wanted to do this slowly because we want that uh, all the bedding is uh, truly truly moist uh, in the same way we don't want like a pocket uh, with more water and pocket they are more or less dry. So let's go and take the water. All right. So at the beginning, I like, uh, uh, I have uh, um, this, uh, you know, this uh, things for the water and I have uh, like uh, uh, one uh, um, things that it's a uh, flat, see, I like it very much because you put a bunch of water, but actually it like spray, you know, like the shower. They put up a lot of water or something. This is spray and uh, go, you know, it's like a diffuse. All right, let's move. So the the bedding it's already took a nice moisture. Don't need a lot of water, guys. Do not over moisture because I mean the chance that these things go anaerobic are very very little. 
because of the structures of the bedding but again we don't want to over moisture anyway okay a little more So that's it. I think this is ready guys. So it's really you see this is don't need a lot of water because uh, it retained the moisture amazing very well. Perfect. Let's do the, like this squeezy test. Okay I don't know if you can see it. Let me come closer. We have a, a few drops that are coming out and it's almost perfect. I want a little more, just a, just a very little. Alright, let's do the squeezy try. Perfect. That's what we want. So I want again mix uh, very 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 well you see guys don't need a lot of water really this bedding is perfect because don't need a lot of water to make the worms happy and the bedding perfect so now what I do with uh, this tray again I will wait uh, like three four days depends how busy I am and I will introduce uh, one pound of red wigglers if you wanna um, fuse a different kind of worms like for example European nightcrawler European nightcrawler they breed a uh, beautiful and amazing and they really love uh, this kind of tray but uh, for the um, European nightcrawler at, at least my size of European nightcrawler I put a little less than a, a pound a pound of my European nightcrawler or anything between 240 and 260 ones I try to put uh, like uh, 12 ounces 13 ounces of course I don't count the the, the, the ones I count it just uh, for myself just to understand and I put uh, around the 150 um, ones something like that like I don't know, 12 ounces and um, but if you have a European night crawler that are like regular size uh, one pound it's okay too for this kind of of, uh, of uh, bending so let me just uh, clean a little bit uh, and uh, you know take everything out uh, and we'll do a recap of all this uh, uh, bedding this quick video about uh, this new special bedding uh, uh, for your worms that you can use again both for uh, your reproduction bean of your regular bean if you have uh, like a bigger bean that uh, is uh, uh, the perfect solution for you guys that it's already uh, made you know it's made for a professional after years of experimentation and uh, um, I can assure you guys that you have the happiest worms in the world because mine are so you saw in the video I share you a lot of time on my result and I am a little nerdy on my on my stuff so I like to make experimentation to study to watch the microscope what happened and uh, this is my final formula of uh, the, the the perfect bedding uh, um, okay never say never maybe I will find out something better you know some other ingredient but uh, this uh, mix uh, you know with the, the other compost uh, is uh, the perfect 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 combination for your worms uh, all the bacteria and the fungi and uh, all the microorganisms you know there are uh, in the compost this organic compost uh, will work with all the nutrients that are mixed in the bedding again i uh, put together a mix of four different ing ingredients that with the biochar and the, the slow re release you know nutrients like the pit moss and the cardboard will give you bedding amazing amazing result when uh, this bedding is ready in like three four weeks uh, this will be completely ready you will see that you will still uh, have uh, like um, bigger pieces that you can actually take and re pull again back in the next uh, um, in the next uh, uh, you know batch of uh, the new bean with the new bedding that you are making for your worms uh, the worm chow you put uh, again half a cup inside the mixer 
of the bedding when you start and also when you uh, feed the worms two or three times a week depends just wait that the 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 old feed is gone don't overfeed them this is never so what do you do in a, in a bin like this the mortar tray you just take a little bit pour on the top that's it you don't need more worm chow than this every time that you feed there are a lot of food in the bedding this worm chow will give like a really a kick on your on, on the appetite <laughs> and on the health of your worms uh, and uh, um, we will give you the best result of that uh, you can have uh, um, i'm pretty sure i will have a lot of uh, cri uh, critic i will be criticized about these things because uh, there are no perfect bedding and i partially agree um, a lot of people again ask me a lot of questions i do this i do this uh, i do this different from you and i have a uh, you know acceptable result a very nice uh, um, and uh, um, i i i agree with every everyone so what that means there are no only one way to farm worms there are thousand way and this is your way what works for you it's the perfect way to grow your worms uh, i know a lot of uh, commercial worm farmer um, some people I, I really really like it some people i like a little less some people i dislike it completely and uh, um, um, how not as person how they uh, process and they do their stuff uh, uh, during the worm farm but again, if it works for you guys, it's the perfect way. The most important thing is that uh, you are happy with your result. You have amazing and rich worm casting from your garden or from your customer if you sell it. And uh, of course, it depends of your uh, time, of your space, of your goal, which goal you are so if you are uh, uh, you don't have a lot of time you know and uh, your um, the, the, uh, if you don't have a lot of time and farming worm at home it's a uh, it's a uh, it's uh, what you want to do it's your hobby and you do maybe a little more than hobby but you don't have a lot of time to go around you know and you find all the different ingredients and you want an amazing final product and uh, make your worms happy and make the worms reproduce more this is the perfect product guys don't uh, don't don't go and look around for different solution this is the best solution if you don't have the enough time if you have the time and the knowledge uh, go guys there are the again thousand way to make the um, amazing bedding this is what worked for me it's a work amazing i have a beautiful result and my worms are happy fat and huge and my worm casting is uh, um, one of the best uh, higher quality worm casting you can find right now in the market and not because i tell you it's because there are the labs result so if you have any question guys of you want a quote for a bigger quantity just let me know i will again uh, link uh, in the description uh, uh, my website where you can find this product and there will be of course different option one uh, batch one kit and the two kits three kits uh, and uh, whatever uh, again uh, the kit uh, is included with a six gallon of a bedding mix three gallon of organic uh, compost and uh, 25 ounces of uh, one chop Thank you guys. If you have any any question, you can just uh, uh, write down below in uh, in the comment, uh, or you can shout out to me an email. I am already here. I will answer as soon as I can. Usually, more or less immediately. You have my phone number, so please test me or call me. If I can answer, I will call you back, and I'm here for you. Everything you need. Thank you very much, and please subscribe if you are already not subscribed. Thank you.